let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, coast to coast, This Week in America. Make your own job anytime, anywhere, at any age by William Hovey Smith is an entrepreneurial business book for everyone, from teens to adults, that explains how to raise immediate cash while simultaneously planning longer term for other ventures that may require more training, financing, or experience. It also promotes the concept that people in modern times should create many ventures during their lifetimes. Depending on their needs, health, interests, and desires, it's available in soft cover as an e-book and an audiobook. Throughout his life, William Holby Smith has engaged in 17 different professions or businesses, a professional geologist. He's been a decorated combat engineer officer in the U.S. Army, worked in retail stores, owned a storefront business, been an outdoorsman, authored more than 20 books, done podcast radio, produced more than 850 YouTube videos, and journalist correspondent for national magazines, an information scientist for an international company, and is presently working on a novel, screenplay, and movie project. He's also a collector of Western art and a wild game cook, with us on This Week in America, William Hovey Smith, author of Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age. I'm very glad to be here. That's the nice thing about the book. It's for everyone. If you're just trying to hustle to figure out how you're going to pay the rent, if you're looking, as some people are now being reflective during this period, on maybe start, starting something different or late in life, if you're trying to find something you would enjoy and making some extra money in retirement, the book is for you. Make your own job anytime, anywhere, at any age. William Hovey Smith is the author and our guest. His website is HoveySmith.com. Hovey is H-O-V-E-Y. It's published by Stratton Press. You'll find the book at uh, Stratton-Press.com, Amazon, all of the usual places. Hovey, there are many business books out there. What is the intended audience for this book, Make Your Own Job? Well... In this time of coronavirus, we had people who had nothing but time on their hands. They were being actually paid not to work. And this struck me as an ideal time for people to seriously consider what they were going to do for the rest of their lives. I see my audience for this book as the underserved population of people like teenagers. Few write books about teenage entrepreneurship. Well, I get the idea that teenagers should start their own little mini-businesses. And maybe as a young guy, this is raking grass or cleaning gutters or hanging storm shutters or something like this that we older guys, quite frankly, just can't do anymore. And then, as life progresses through work, working on your own business on the side, actually starting a little mini business while you are employed, proving the concept, getting a little revenue in, and in later life, uh, then you look for something that you can do. This way you create your own jobs as and when you need them throughout your entire life to take account your physical condition and the knowledge you've obtained. And you can, frankly... Make a business out of selling knowledge itself. If you know how to do something, you can teach others how to do it, and you can make some money along the way. It seems so simple, yet you lay it out there. It's something we all wish we could do something we enjoyed. I should say all of us, many would like to do something that we found more enjoyment in the workplace. And you, you show us how to do that. The book is Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age by... William Hovey Smith, H-O-V-E-Y. I'll give you all the information on, on where the book's available and the audio book as well as we go through the, uh, the conversation today. Many books out there on entrepreneurship, but your book is different. You walk us through the, the very beginning, all of the pitfalls. You, you show us how to do that. What makes your book unique? When you sat down to write this, this is not a, a typical entrepreneurship book at all, is it? Far from it. Uh, my book is unlike any business book you ever read. For one thing, it's based mainly on my own experiences, rather than something I cribbed from a whole bunch of other authors. For example, uh, in the book, I tell you exactly how to generate your own ideas for new businesses, how to rank them, 
how to categorize them, and how to decide which ones you do when. And that way you can progress with a life plan. And if it changes a little bit along the way, uh, you know, that's just fine. Now, I don't care in particular what kind of business this might be. It might be something in the arts. It might be even a class of products. One example I frequently use are nails. Uh, you can become a specialist in the world's nails and how to source them. If someone is rebuilding a house from the 1600s and they want some original looking nails to put in the walls, okay, you know where to get them. You can get them up a ton or so if they need them. Same thing with brass tacks. Anything pointing that you pound into anything, you got it. All right, that's one thing you can do. Now, you can also choose hinges or locks or anything that you can think of that people would need in today's life to replicate something from past events. You can also, these days, make a very good living selling knowledge. That's one thing we older guys have accumulated. And so, uh, we can't run up down and put up storm shutters anymore. But we sure as blazes can sell what we know. And that's what many people are doing in podcast radio these days. Uh, they are selling knowledge. Not only their own, but that that other people have accumulated over the decades. So one thing you do at one stage of life might be quite different from something you do at another. It's an amazing book because it does walk you all the way through the... Uh, it's not like you read something and you've got to go to the library and find six or seven other books that are going to answer the questions, what to do next. It's all laid out by... By Hovey in the book, it's make your own job anytime, anywhere, at any age. What do you think is the hardest task facing the, the intended audience today? What's the biggest challenge that people have to overcome? There are actually two that impact most people. One, which we've already discussed, is conceiving of the original idea. And the other is fear of failure. Many people are so terrified by the idea of failing at something that they don't start anything. And that, of course, is the road to absolutely nowhere. And all of these, everything we go through is a lesson, and we learn from that. Uh, and you do such an excellent job in the book in pointing that out, that if you fail, you get up and you, you come up with other ideas and you go on to the next, uh, next passion that you have in your life. How holy does your book help people to, to meet their not only immediate needs, but long-term goals as well? Because you cover, you cover all of those in your book. If you are going to start your new business, go ahead and go for a million-dollar business. Uh, don't fiddle around with a, something that will return a few thousand dollars every once in a while unless you've already made your money. To give a practical example, I'm a writer of nonfiction books. I've done more than 20. Most of these were outdoor books that involved my hunting and running up and down in the mountains and all that kind of stuff that I can't physically do anymore very well. So I started writing my first novel. And from the novel, then they produced a screenplay. And from the screenplay, I'm working on producing a movie. So you tie all these things together. What can I really do physically? What challenges me mentally? And what would I really love to do? And then go after it. So you've got all of these things going on. I love the advice that you give. That's just a tip of the iceberg. So much in, in Hovey's book, Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age. William Hovey Smith, our guest on the program, book published by Stratton Press, Press available on their website, uh, by Amazon, of course, as well. The video version of this, by the way, you'll find on our YouTube channel. If you go to thisweekinamerica.us, click videos, you'll see the uh, the Skype interview with Hovey, and uh, uh, you'll be able to watch that, or just go to YouTube and, uh, and Google, and you'll be able to find this. Hovey, how can a person develop their skills and hobbies into potential businesses? How easy is that? What do we need to go through to take a hobby, something we really enjoy, something we're good at, and make money at it? Turning your hobby into a business is something that many people have done. Uh, they take what they've done and enjoy doing and make some money at it. Now, one example today is perhaps P. 
pin making or pin turning. And this is done by people who like to fool with woods. And so they buy pin sets and they handle them in exotic woods from all over the world. And these they sell for, say, up to $50 a piece or perhaps even more, depending on the rarity and costliness of the materials they use. Or it could be anything else. It could be building ships in bottles. And the best way to advertise your materials is, of course, through YouTube videos. And that's why I've got between 800 and 900 of them. They stay up for as long as you want to have them up there. And they continue to attract viewers and interest long after uh, you originally posted them. So this is the way you advertise your work. One thing I did was when I started Hovey's Knives of China, I went back to ancient China. And there they made bronze knives 3,000 years ago that were the most advanced kitchen cutlery in the world. And so I replicated these knives in modern steel for today's cooks and chefs. And through Hovey's Knives of China, uh, you can buy functional knives out of steel that are true to the Chinese heritage. Just one of the so many, I keep saying that because there's so many ideas there. The more Hovey talks, the more your mind goes like, okay, I can do this and I've got this to desire that I would love to turn into a business or at least make a little extra money and you'll find how to do that on make your, in the book, Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age. Let's talk about timing on this. How do you select what business to attempt to do at, at the right time? How important is timing? Timing is important. You would not hire a 14-year-old to be the head of GE or anything like that. So you progress with your businesses as you gain knowledge and as your physicality changes. For example, yeah, as a young guy, yeah, you can hang shutters and do this kind of stuff. But as an older guy, yeah, uh, you need to change up and change your ideas was that I had always written nonfiction books, more than 20. So uh, I decided I want to do something different. So I wrote a novel. And whilst I was doing the novel, I said, well, this is going to be a really excellent screenplay. So I started on the screenplay. And I had never written a novel before, and I had never written a screenplay before. But tackling these both simultaneously allowed me to first do the novel, get the plot down, blah, 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 and then shortly thereafter actually produce the screenplay. And working on the screenplay actually improved the novel because I had both of them in work at the same time. Now, that's an approach I don't know very many authors have taken, but I did. And so uh, you can also incorporate new things as you go along. You don't have to do the same thing the same way everybody has always done it. No. You can create your own path to success. And if it didn't work out quite right, okay, figure out why. And then go out there and redo it and get it right. Hovey Smith, our guest on the program. William Hovey Smith is the author's name as you're Googling, looking for this particular book, Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age. Boy, time is going by so quickly. So much to talk about. And you'll find all of that in your book. At some point, you may need a partner, maybe in the beginning, trying to come up with an idea and maybe work on some funding. You may need an employee. How do you go about finding a partner or an employee? Among the best ways to locate a partner or an employee is through YouTube videos, which I've already told you about, and also going to trade shows and similar events. There is no hobby or function in this country that does not have some sort of trade show associated with it. So find out where those are, figure out how you go, if you're a screenwriter, it helps to have a screenplay in hand if you're going to a movie festival, for example, and then go there and talk to people. See who's looking, see who's searching, see what skills they have, and this is exactly why I'm going to the Austin Film Festival this year. I hope to produce a movie for my screenplay. I hope to be able to finance my screenplay, and this is a place where such people are. So I and my agent 
yeah, we're going to work on this, and we're going to see if we can get something solid done. Wolfie Smith with us on the program. A remarkable career you, you've you adapted as we've gone. You've turned YouTubes into uh, your own almost a channel you've got there with eight to 900 uh, YouTube videos. I think you'll find those by Googling that when you go to YouTube. An audio book now as well. Talk about why you decided to, uh, to take the book, expand it into an audio book. Audio books are very convenient for commuters, for one thing. And believe it or not, we're going to have commuters again next year. Thank goodness. And I also like the format. Not only do I listen to audio books, but I also listen to quite a few of the great courses. Uh, so you can learn about any subject matter that you really care to investigate in depth at a college level. And these are very valuable resources. So audio books, yeah. They are really great, and I recommend any author who has a fiction book in particular think about doing an audio book. Now, both the voice actors who did my audio books did a really excellent job with them, and I recommend uh, this format. And all the information you'll find at Hovey's website, which is HoveySmith.com. Hovey is H-O-V-E-Y, HoveySmith.com, all that information of course, on our website, the book, Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age. Uh, a minute or so left in the program. What's the single most important thing we need to know about today's business climate? Certainly today's business climate, different than it was a year ago or two years ago. What's the most important thing that we should know as we try to plot our future? This business climate is extremely variable. I don't care what aspect of it you happen to be participating in. So don't be afraid that you might stumble somewhere along the way. Uh, you might not be able to get your supplies. Your shipments might be delayed. Any number of things might happen. So be flexible. If one idea doesn't work at the time, okay, put it at rest for a while. Try something else. Develop something else. Then when the supplies are available, go back and do your original thing. But be flexible. Be versatile. And keep trying. If you give up, of course, don't have any chance at all. So keep at it. Go after it. And once you started a concept, finish it. Either to the point of failure or success. But finish it. The book, there are elements of drama, adventure, and fun. It really is a good read, besides giving you all of the keys to really finding a life that you will enjoy in producing income. The book is Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age. William Hovey Smith, our guest and the author, that's H-O-V-E-Y. His website is hoveysmith.com. Book published by Stratton Press. Their website is stratton-press.com. Book available at Amazon, all of the usual places. Hovey, you've done an excellent job with the book. Literally every question you have, you've answered. And probably because through your life you've had to ask all of these questions and you found the answers yourself. And thank you so much for being with us on the program. Look forward to having you back. Much more to talk about. Thank you for being with us on the program. Thank you very much for having me. It has been our pleasure. William Hovey Smith. Hovey is H-O-V-E-Y, the book. Make your own job anytime, anywhere, at any age. Information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We're back on today's program after these messages. You're listening to This Week in America with Rick Bratton. The soft cover and ebook versions of Make Your Own Job anytime, anywhere, at any age is available from Amazon.com and other booksellers worldwide. It has received a worthy critical review from Kirkus, the International Book Review Agency. The audiobook version is available from listenupaudiobooks.com. The audiobook of my novel, Until Death Do You Part, is in the final stages of production and will be likely released in June from the same source. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.